So yes, my name is Mercedes or Professora Mercedes. I am from Colombia. I have two daughters. I homeschool my daughters. Uh, then they decided to, um, they went off to college and I went back to uh, UC Berkeley. I got a degree in social welfare. And uh, I taught privately uh, Spanish, all ages. Also, I have been a medical volunteer translator in Spanish and I do a lot of volunteer work uh, with the uh, elderly community. So yeah, this is great. Funny. Okay, so yes, my name is Vanessa, or as you'll know, later Professor Vanessa. Um, I'm also a UC Berkeley graduate, and I also received a certificate of achievement in Spanish from Diablo Valley College. I've been teaching Spanish for about 10 years, both privately and through different tutoring companies. I absolutely love it and uh, love, love Spanish. I grew up speaking it at home. My mom, as you can tell, is a native speaker. She's from Colombia, so I grew up speaking it at home and love working with students of all ages and, um, and grade levels. So uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna transition. And uh, Kyle, can you, are you there? Yeah, I'm here, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Uh, is there any way that you can show your video? Yeah, my video option is not working for some reason. It wouldn't let me choose to have a video option. Oh, okay. I'm wondering, Shruti, if that's possible, if he can show his video. Do you wanna comment real quick, Shruti, if that's possible? She said video will not work for me. Well, video will not work. Okay, got it. Okay, that's fine. So we'll go ahead and continue on with the dialogue. So what we're going to do is Professora Mercedes and Kyle are going to go through a series of questions. They're going to be asking each other, um, hello. They're going to be saying, hello. What Greetings. is your name? Mm -hmm. How are you? Where are you from? And where do you live? Uh, so a couple of simple greeting questions. So um, do you want to go ahead and start? Mama? Okay, so hola. Hola. Como te llamas? So I'm sorry, I, I forgot to mention. So as they as they go back and forth, I will be translating as well. So they just said hello, hello. My mom just said, "What is your name?" Mi mm -hmm. amo Kyle. Y tú? My name is Kyle, and you? Me llamo Mercedes. My name is Mercedes. Como estás? How are you? Yo estoy bien. Y tú? I am fine. And you? Bien. Gracias. Well, thank you. ¿De dónde eres? Where are you from? Yo soy de San Ramón. ¿Y tú? I am from San Ramón. And you? Uh, yo soy de San Ramón. I am from San Ramón. Mm -hmm. ¿Dónde vives? Where do you live? Yo vivo en San Ramón. Y tú? I live in San Ramon. And you? Yo vivo en San Ramon también. I live in San Ramon also. Mm -hmm. ¿Cuántos hermanos tienes? Oh, no. Ah, no, perdón. Don, uh, ¿Vives con tu familia? She just asked, do you live with your family? Sí, vivo con mi familia. ¿Y tú? Yes, I live with my family. And you? Yo vivo con mi familia también. I also live with my family. ¿Cuántos hermanos tienes? How many brothers do you have? Yo tengo una hermana. ¿Y tú? I have one sister. And you? Yo tengo una hermana también. I have one sister also. ¿Cuál es tu profesión? What is your profession? Yo soy una profesora de español. ¿Y tú? I am a Spanish instructor. And you? Yo soy un estudiante en la universidad. I am a student in the university. ¿Cuál es tu color favorito? What is your favorite color? Mi color favorito es rojo. ¿Y tú? My favorite color is red. And you? Mi color favorito es azul. My favorite color is blue. ¿Cuál es tu comida favorita? What is your favorite food? 
Mi comida favorita es comida de Tailandia. ¿Y tú? My favorite food is Thai food. And yours? Mi comida favorita es el sushi. My favorite food is sushi. Mm -hmm. Muchas gracias, Kyle. Thank you very much, Kyle. Gracias, Profesor Mercedes. Adios. Adios. So they just said goodbye and they said thank you to each other. Thank you so much, Kyle. Appreciate it. Thanks, Vanessa. Adios. Adios. Great. So awesome. Okay, guys, so that was just a sample of some greetings that you will learn how to do by the end of the camp. So uh, our summer camp is going to be four week and eight weeks long. So you have an option of which one you choose to sign up for. They will be held four days a week starting on June 8th. Um, and at the end of each uh, four week or eight week camp, there will be a mini project that each student will, pre will present. Um, depending on the uh, grade level, there will be uh, a 50 minute session. So um, currently we are recruiting students for second through fifth grade, uh, as well as middle school and uh, kindergarten through first grade as well. So uh, those are kind of the options. Uh, the topics that, they, that you guys would be learning would be greetings, for example, numbers, colors, alphabet, um, salutations, uh, animals, and forming basic sentences uh, with different topics. So that's just an example of some things that you'll be able to learn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen right now. Um, I'm going to be sharing my screen. I'm going to be uh, sharing a quick little video of some of the questions uh, dialogue that you just saw. Uh, so you'll go and you'll take a look at this in just a second. Okay, one second. I'm just making sure it's nice and big. Okay, so I'll be sharing my screen here. And if everybody can um, maybe raise their hands to make sure that they can see the screen. Let's see if I can actually see the panelists. Um, you know what, I actually can't see the panelists like this. So um let me just maybe go back so i'm going to assume that everybody can see this screen because if i stop sharing then i won't be able to see everybody so um okay so i'm going to go ahead and press play and then uh shruti maybe you can just text me if you guys can't hear the audio so here it is Yeah. 
that. I'm going to stop sharing my screen. And uh, what we're going to do for the next few minutes before I reshare my screen uh, with something else, I want to ask some of you brave volunteers, como te llamas? Como te llamas? So if anybody wants to chime in, Nikita, I see your hand. Nikita, could you unmute yourself, honey? Um, so if I were to ask you, como te llamas? How would you respond? Um, say it. My name is Nikunj. My name is Nikunj. Very good. So now we're going to say that in Spanish. Me llamo. Go ahead and say it. Me llamo. And then your name. Nikunj. Nikunj. Thank you. Muy bien. Excelente. Muy bien. <laughs> Gracias. Gracias, Nakush. Okay, Sai. <clears throat> Thank you. I see your hand. Sai, ¿cómo te llamas? My name is, my name is Sai. Great. So let's say it in Spanish. Let's respond in Spanish. Me llamo Sai. Can you say that for me? Me llamo Sai. Muy bien. bien. Excelente, Sai. Excelente. Muy I did this before. Very good pronunciation. Very good pronunciation. Okay, mom, would you like to ask? Uh, let's, act, let's go ahead and choose Anquita. Anquita. ¿Cómo te, ¿Cómo te llamas? Let's respond in Spanish. ¿Cómo te llamas, Anquita? If you can unmute yourself, honey. Mm -hmm. sí. Sí. Me llamo. 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 Reina, muy bien. muy bien. Excelente, Reina. Excelente. Okay, we're going to switch up the questions. Uh, de donde eres? So remember, de donde eres means where are you from? So I will, add, I will answer first. Yo soy de San Ramon. I am from Pero San Ramon. Uh, se, Profesora Mercedes, de donde eres? Soy de San Ramon. Okay, who wants to uh, volunteer? Vaidu. Vaidu. Go ahead and unmute yourself. So go ahead and press. De donde eres? Vaidu. Uh, I am from uh, San Ramon. Okay, very good. So in Spanish, say yo soy. Yo soy. De San Ramon. Yo Yo soy de San Ramón. Excelente, Baidu. Excelente. Ananya, ¿de dónde eres? I see your hand up. Unmute, honey. Hello. Hello. So say, yo soy de... Yo soy de... Where are you from? What city? San Ramón. San Ramón. Muy bien. So, yo soy de San Ramón. Say that a whole sentence for me. Yes, soy de San Ramon. Excelente, Ananya. Excelente. Muy bien. Muy bien. Um, let's switch up another question. Um, uh, let's do another one. Años ¿Cuántos años tienes? So, ¿cuántos años tienes? Is how old are you? ¿Cuántos años tienes? So, do you want to ask me? ¿Cuántos años tienes, Vanessa? Yo tengo 27 años. I'm 27. So, who would like to volunteer? Evan, I see you. Go ahead and unmute yourself, honey. So, Evan, ¿cuántos años tienes? So, you're going to say, yo tengo. Yo, yo soy. Yo tengo. Say, yo tengo. Yo tengo. How old are you? Siete años. Muy bien, Evan, excelente, excelente. Uh, Nikita, go ahead, we're going to choose you. Can you unmute yourself? Uh, Nikita, ¿cuántos años tienes? Yeah. Yo tengo siete años. Wow, excelente, muy bien, muy bien. And by the way, I don't know if your names are the what's showing up here on the, sure, on the things, sure. but... Um, I apologize. I'm only looking here at uh, the attendee list. So, um, okay, let's choose. Let's uh, let's do another one. Donde vives? Donde vives means where do you live? So I'm going to ask Profesora Mercedes. Donde vives? Yo vivo in San Ramon. 
I, that means I live in San Ramon. Mm -hmm. So who would like to volunteer? Shub, donde vives? I, I live in San Francisco. Muy, Muy bien, bien. Shub. So let's say that in Spanish. Yo vivo. Yo vivo. In San Francisco. In San Francisco. Excelente. Yeah. Muy bien. Muy bien. Um, let's see. Uh, Ankita. Go ahead and unmute yourself, Ankita. Donde vives? Donde? Yo, so to answer, you say yo vivo. Yo vivo. And? Pleasanton. And Pleasanton. Yo vivo and Pleasanton. Muy bien. Muy bien, Excelente. Uh, Sai. Uh, go ahead and unmute yourself. Donde vives? I really don't know. Okay, so I'll help you. So you say yo vivo. Yo vivo in San Ramon. Excelente. Wow. Great pronunciation, everybody. You, you children have an amazing pronunciation. You sound so original. So natural. So yes. natural. Congratulations Excelente. to Excelente. all of you. So, um, I wanted to spend a few minutes. I did have a worksheet I wanted to show everybody, and then I'm going to open it up for questions from any of the parents. So one quick second here. Let me pull this up. Okay. So this is just a sample of some of the things that we're going to work on together as well. So the camp is going to consist of song, dance, worksheets, conversation, and some other fun activities as well. So some of this, so like for example, number two, it says match the question with the answer. So for example, letter A is como te llamas? Who so, knows the well, right now, for whatever reason, I can't see the mm. panelists. I don't know why when I share my screen. So um, I do want to leave some time for questions. So uh, this would be an example of some things that we would work on together as a class. Um, just so I just wanted to kind of show you. Okay, so you can take a look at that. And those would be things that the, the that everybody will learn how to answer. Um, so, for example, so, these, for example these. so I'll just say for letter A, como te llamas? That would be me llamo Adam. My name is Adam. So they would draw a line number from three. A to number three. And then they okay? practice saying it. And then we would practice saying it. And that's kind of how we would and structure that. Yeah. Yes. So we have about three minutes left. I wanted to open the floor for any questions. Um, I see Evan and Sai and Ananya have some questions. I don't know if they were trying to answer the worksheet or if they have questions. So I'm going to leave it for questions. If you guys have, a, if anybody has a question, raise your hand. Ananya, go ahead. Hi. Um, hi, Vanessa. This is... Uh, Ananya's mom here. Nice so, to meet you. <laughs> so I've been watching this and I really like um, the way you're presenting it. Um, I only had one um, little um, you know, query. Are you able to see the children? Because this interface looks pretty strange. I'm used to the more Zoom grid kind of setup, which allows yes. uh, a two-way communication where Perfect. kids can look at other kids and the yes. teachers can look at the kids. Uh, because right now, what, what, uh, even though the interface is great, I think uh, kids might tend to zone out if you're oh, not actually oh, watching them or they are not watching others. So I'm just absolutely. curious. <laughs> yes, thank you so much for your question. So right now we are using um, a webinar interface through Talent Nook. So normally for our typical lessons, we will, the kids will be able to see each other through Zoom, just like a normal Zoom call. Um, and we will, of course, have proper, um, I guess, uh, internet etiquette. So everybody will be muted unless they need to answer a question, then they will unmute themselves. But you're absolutely right, Ananya. We will be able to all see each other. Yeah, and it will be a maximum. Other. Yes, uh, they'll be able to see us. We'll be able to see them. They'll be able to see each other mm -hmm. all on the Zoom panel. And um, it will be a maximum of six students per, per class section. Oh, so awesome. awesome. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Absolutely. Thank you for your question. Nikita, I see that you have a question as well. So the, um, hi, Vanessa. Hi, how are you? Hi. 
Good, good. So um, is this like age-based classes? Like I have a second uh, grader and a fourth grader. Yes. So it is based on grades. So we are having a cohort of uh, no more than six students for uh, pre-K through first grade in one time slot for 50 minutes. Then we also have a second through fifth grade time slot as well as middle school, six through eight. So they will have specific time slots, which um, uh, Shruti at Talent Nook will be sending an email to all of the participants on this call with those specific time slots. So, um, so second to fifth grade will be in one class. That's what it is. Correct. Exactly. Okay. So basically both of them will be in one class. Like, um, if I have a second grader and a fourth grader. Yes. Mm -hmm. So they can join the class at the same time. Exactly. Because they're learning. Okay. Yes. Okay. So do they need two different devices, um, at home to join the class at the same time? Not necessarily. Um, they can, be like, they can just be right next to each other. Just like my mom and I. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Absolutely. Sounds good. Great. Thank, Thank you, you so much. You're starting the, you're starting. Um, Go ahead. So you're starting the classes next week or something? We're starting on June 8th. So June we'll 8th. be starting June 8th and uh, the four week class will be up until uh, uh, June, see, July. We'll see. no, till June, sorry, July 3rd. And then the next class will start that following Monday after that holiday weekend until july 31st okay thank you my pleasure thank you for joining thank you so much yep. awesome so thank you again everybody who joined in um if there is oh yes there is one other question go ahead Diraj. Okay. yeah uh, see, can you hear us yes yes we can hear you go oh, good oh uh, did you hear me no you have raised your I... hand that's how it works <laughs> I kept raising my hand each time, but they kept picking on the same people. They never packed my name. I never saw my name on it. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. No. They never called me. Oh, no worries, honey. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm so, so sorry. sorry. You know what? I will ask you one question. How about this? I, let me ask you one question no, right two. now. This or two is. questions. Sure. Call, oh, so is your name Diraj? What is no, your Pia, name? Pia. 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 Yeah, okay. I log so, in as me. Her name is Pia, yeah. Got it, Pia. So, como te llamas? Como te llamas? That means what? Do you know how to answer? So, it says, me, me llamo. Me llamo. Me llamo. With your name. Me llamo. Pia, right? Yeah. Perfect. So, well, yeah. so, so next time, so next time, if she needs to speak, she needs to like raise her hand. That's how it works. Correct. Exactly. But so right now, this is just how it is for the webinar. Um, if we, during the actual class, what we will do is, um, yes, they will actually need to know. So I will be, we will be interacting. So we will be able to see everybody. Mm -hmm. Oh, they, we, and, maybe uh, we'll do yeah, more right. something then. Uh, okay. Everyone raise their hand. They, will, they can raise their hand like yeah. on the video. If they don't know how to do it on the actual icon, they can just raise their hand. I'll be able to see all the Wait, students. Oh, you see that? We will yeah. be able to see all the students. And then we will call on the student mm -hmm. to answer something or if they need to ask something, they will unmute themselves or we can unmute them and then they will ask. Yeah. Yes. Do you understand, Pia? That's okay. So you and know how to do that, right? And we're here yeah. to help them too. Yes. See, we're here it says lower hand. So right now your hand is raised. So you can we're here to be them. sure that everybody's participating as well. Thank yeah, you. Pia. Very good. So thank you. Absolutely. Gracias. De nada. De nada. So, um, uh, Shruti with Talanuk will be sending out uh, with information on how to register for the camps. Um, and she will be following up as well with the times of the specific uh, grade level so that you're all aware of what times that will be offered uh, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday um, for, uh, for the camp. So with that, I want to say gracias to everybody. Gracias. And uh, we really hope- Gracias. Gracias. De nada. De nada. De nada. De nada. You're welcome. So we hope to see all of you in June, uh, June 8th. Uh, please feel free to, uh, like I said, to, if you have any specific questions, I think a lot of you already have my information. 
Um, but like I said, uh, Talent Nook will be reaching out to everybody with some more information about the camp. There is so, a question here for uh, Naya. Yes, it's good thing looking okay. I do have to teach another lesson right now. So any further questions, please um, uh, feel free to reach out to me. In fact, I think I might just uh, mention my phone number here on the chats just so that people can have it for last minute questions. So my, my, this is my phone number. So if anybody wants to write that down or take a screenshot of that, you can write that down and then my mom and I will both give back to you. Um, but I do have to teach a lesson very soon. So thank you so much, you guys. Gracias. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Adios. Muy, muy, uh, and Talanook also has their phone number as well. Shruti has her phone number. So any other questions, you can also reach out to Shruti there at the 510 phone number. Good job, children. You have an amazing pronunciation. We're Excellent. going to have a lot of fun. Yes, we look forward to this summer. Thank you, everyone.